okay uh, the next uh, string manipulation function that we are going to take a look at is called left right and in this function we are passing two parameters one is the string variable or the string value and the other one is the length of the string that we want to extract for example let us take a look at this particular instruction when this is executed the first three characters from the left, left hand side are extracted because this three here this three here is the length that needs to be extracted from the left, left hand side so this is going to be one two and three so what's going to be output is s w e when this instruction is executed we only want to extract one character from the left hand side which in this case is going to be s only just the first character right just one character from the left hand side and in this in this instruction what we are trying to say is that extract the first eight characters from the left hand side so let us start counting one two three four five and then this is blank space here six seven and eight in this case what is going to be output on the screen is going to be sweet with a space and ho okay fine what about this one when this instruction gets executed the first thing that we should note here is that we have not passed a string value here uh, we have not passed a string variable here rather we have passed a string value and what we want to do is we want to extract the first two characters from the left hand side so from the left hand side these are going to be the first two characters so this is what is going to be output how about this one when this instruction gets executed we are going to be extracting the first four characters from the left hand side one two three and four so this is what's going to be output on the screen let's take a look at our code in visual basic when this instruction gets executed we are going to extract the first four characters from the left hand side which in this case would be one two three and four so this is what's going to be output when this instruction gets executed we want to extract the first three characters from the left hand side so this is going to be h o and n right so this is what's going to be extracted so the next function that we're going to take a look at is called write and in this case this is similar to the function that we just did the only difference is that this time we are going to extract the string from the right hand side so for example let's take a look at this instruction we are going to extract three characters from the right hand side and then that means we are going to be extracting these three characters right so this is what is going to be output on the screen for this one when we execute this instruction only e is going to be output on the screen when we execute this instruction the first eight characters from the right hand side are going to be executed so, uh, so are going to be extracted so we are going to have one which is E, 2 is M, 3 is O, then 4 is H, then 5th is this blank space, then 6, then 7, then 8. So, this is what is going to be shown on the screen, right? So, even this blank space in between these two is counted, okay? Now, when we execute this one, we are going to pick two characters from the right hand side right so n and g is what is going to be output when we execute this one four characters from the right hand side means n i n g this is what is going to be output let us take a look at the code in visual basic when this is executed three characters from the right hand side would mean day right when this one is executed only one character from the right hand side and that would only mean y and when this one is executed one character from the right hand side would be d alright this function is called med and in med we pass three parameters one is the string value the string that we want to process one is the length of the string that we want to extract and this middle one is the position so this indicates the position from which we want to extract the length of the string so let's take a look at a few examples so that you can understand how this works 
let us say we have this string sweet home which has been assigned to this variable str. Now, when this instruction is executed, what we are saying is that from position 2 extract the next two strings. So, this is position 1, this would be position 2 and from this point onwards, from position 2 onwards, we are going to extract the next two strings. So, this is going to give us W and E. Okay, let us take a look at this one. Starting from position 1, which would be S in this case, starting from position 1, extract the next four uh, characters. So, it is going to be S, W, E and E. So, this is what is going to be output in this case. Let us take a look at this example, where it has not specified the length of the string. So, the only two things we have here are the string variable and this is the position of the string, right. So, the length has not been specified, which basically what it does is, from the first character, we will pick the entire string onwards. So, the from position 1, which is going to be the first character in this case, we are going to pick the if no length is mentioned, then we are going to pick the entire string. So, this would actually output the entire string, which would be sweet home. Let us take a look at this example. In this, the position is 2 and the length that we want is 3, right. So, position number 2 would be this one, right, O. And then we want to pick the next 3 characters, right, O, R and N. So, this is what is going to be output. Let us take a look at the examples on the right hand side. Even in this case, uh, we the position is 1, the position is 1 and the length is 3. So, this is the length, sorry. So, this is the length, right. So, position 1 and the next 3 strings, right, 1, next 3 characters, sorry, 1, 2 and 3. So, this is going to output G double O, right. And how about this one? We are talking about position 3 and length 3, right. So, position 3 would be 1, 2 and 3. So, this would be position 3. So, this is, so the next 3 characters, right, the length is also 3. So, 1, 2 and this blank space. So, this is what is going to be output with the blank space falling O and D, right. Let us take a look at this one. In this one, we want uh, to start from position 5 and extract just one character, right, because the length is 1. So, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is the only character that is going to be output. I hope you understand how this MET function works. We specify the position and then we specify the length of the string that we extract from that position onwards. And finally, the last uh, function that we are going to study is called the uh, concat function. It basically joins the two strings together and it can be done in two ways, right. Let us take a look at the example so that we can understand this one better, okay. But the thing to notice here is that we are passing two parameters here. We are passing two string variables or two string values we can also pass in this concat function. For example, when this one gets executed, S1 and S1, well, I have not, so I have not passed the parameters correctly here. Let me just correct this one. Let me write it down here. So, we will have something like output concat and the two variables that we have in our code are str1 and str2. So, what output is this going to give? When this gets executed, we are going to have P A K which is S T R 1 and I S T A N these two joined together. So, what is going to be shown on the screen is Pakistan like this. Okay. And when this one is executed, this also does the same thing. So, there are two ways of joining strings together and one is to use the concat function and one is to use this this symbol to join two strings together. Okay. Let us take a look at the examples 
uh, in Visual Basic, right? Once again, we have two strings. There is this string str1, and then we have a space following. So we have this word good followed by a space. And in str2, this is the string value evening that that has been assigned to str2. Okay. So this value has been assigned to str2. Now what this does is it joins the two strings together, right? So we're using this operator to join the two strings together. And when this line is executed, when this instruction is executed, we are going to see good. Then there's a space, and then we're going to see evening. So it's going to be good evening. Okay. How about this one? This one will exactly do the same job. We can in in instead of this operator here. Instead of using this operator, we should now try out uh, the plus operator. This can also do the job for us, the plus operator, and this would also give us the same result. So, for joining strings in Visual Basic, we can use this operator as well as this operator. So, this is going to join two strings and form a new string and create a new string.